Hey there guys, it's Metro, and we are back again, and yeah, in this episode, we're going to continue on heading back to the Strangle of Thorns, I think. Uh, I think that's it, right? We got our warrior quest done in the last episode. Oh yeah, we got the item, too. I, uh, I think last episode we had an issue. Charm of Wrath gives you a 20% chance to generate an additional rage point whenever damage is dealt to you. Berserker Rage ability will generate 10 rage when used. Instant Rage increased by 10 for Blood Rage ability, and 20% chance after using an offensive ability requiring Rage that your next offensive ability requires 5. This one seems like the most powerful one. Uh, maybe it's a little overpowered, um, but I really like Rage. I think it's more fun to play that way, obviously. Um, maybe it's also overpowered, but I do think it's more fun. So That's what we're going with, so we'll see how it plays out. That's probably the last one we'll get. I don't have any other... Like, I don't know where else we'd even put them at this point. So right now, uh, you know, that was a fun concept. I enjoyed that, but I do think it's time to uh, focus on leveling. So like I said, I'm, I keep doing that. I'm kind of like creatively bereft or just uh, burned out. Maybe I don't want to say burned out because that sounds bad, but just kind of not really feeling creative right now on the topic. So haven't really came up with any new content, but what is this? No thanks. All right, cool. So now we got to fly. I guess we'll go to one of the cities. Anything that we could turn in or do anything like that? It doesn't look like it. Um, I do want to maybe put the weapon in my bags though, in my bank though. I'm sure, we have space for that, but. Where would you like to fly to? Just go to Iron Forge for now. Go with honor. Stop there real quick. Deposit that and this stuff. Forgot to put that in the bank last time. But yeah. It's a very... I love the way it looks on the icon, but I don't really... That does not look very good to me, I'd say. Doesn't look very practical either. Hopefully there will be some... Uh... I don't know. Like, I haven't decided. Do I want to level? I want to put some... I'm going to put points into Fury. I don't know if I'm going to actually do any actual non-defensive stance stuff. Probably not. I'll probably just stick it, stick with it. I've been thinking about this. Like, I had set out to make this challenging. And I think I'm a little, like, underdeveloped on my thoughts on the challenging part of it. I'm overly reactive to what I'm having experienced uh, in-game, right? Um, and so, here's why. Uh, because, one, I'm doing... Like, I don't know. It's, like, rare for me to fight a mob my level. Now, occasionally I do, and it's not been that hard. Like, I don't want to lose a 1v1, obviously. I don't want it to be that hard. Especially as a warrior. Like, you know, we have the ultimate challenge coming up. It's going to be a, a mage with one health. But, um, yeah. We definitely don't want it to be that hard, you know. Um, on top of that, though, the content that we're doing is heavily watered down by the fact that I have all this extra power. So we have blacksmithing gear, um, you know, just, I mean, now we have that belt. Like, we have a lot of extra power that we wouldn't normally have. Uh, obviously, the runes or whatever, the charms. Um, but, yeah, this is a very powerful version of this character. Like, I don't think, you know, a level 41 character would not have this much power in regular classic WoW. Um, so, yeah. I actually, not that I'm going to do it because it's just such a long process, but I actually would, I may do it off stream or something like that, uh, but I, I actually want to test this out uh, without any of this power and see how hard it is before I make any actual adjustments to it. But yeah, that's where we're at, so we will see. Definitely want to get to the mage. Um, I really, the more I think about that, the more interesting uh, that sounds. The big thing is getting runes that allow me to cover for the weaknesses. Like, obviously, um, you know, a Frost Mage should take zero damage most uh, melee uh, against most melee enemies. But what is the reality that that occurs? It's going to be very low. So, um, you know, maybe it won't even be good. Maybe it will just be impossible. I don't know. We're going to test it out. Um, but definitely, we're going to have to use the defensive stuff they have, like, immaculately well. And I will need some help. I will definitely need uh, something that lowers the cooldown of counter strike uh, or counter spell, and probably something that helps 
uh, reduce the damage, you know, with the shields or something like that. So we'll see. I don't know. I've been thinking about that a lot. So we'll get to that at some point. But for now, we're going to finish this up. So let's go to the bank. Then we're flying to Booty Bay. Set the hearth there and finish up that zone. And then probably be 42 or 3 and on our way, I guess, to maybe Feralus. Haven't entered uh, much of Kalimdor yet. We still have a bunch of stuff to turn back in at Tenaris, so it's probably just going to be Tenaris. Oh, another, and then another thing I would want to try if I did, like, um, I should probably sell that too. Yeah, we'll sell it later. Um, another thing I would want to try if I did do another one of these Watch playthroughs five, is no. Oh, wait, this isn't going to stack 200 shit. I think that's how that happened in the first place. Off with it. Oh, 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 and also off stream, I made the uh, change to the stuff that I've been talking about. So yeah, every um, blue or higher from those boxes is now got zero item level requirement. It doesn't say it on there. Let me, let me try that log out and see if that fixes it. But anyway, in terms of the other potential testing of this, I, I want to see what it looks like without any actual experience from this system as well. Yeah, there you go. See? All right. So that's a pretty aggressive change. We'll see how I end up liking it. It's very rare to get a BOE, to be honest. So um, it's not really going to come into play that much, I don't think. Like, it's not, I don't mean, like, it's very rare to get, like, I'm not going to get this out in the world and not be the right level for it, too, right? What like, it's not going to happen. For you today? Just because of the nature of how it works. Um, like, how the leveling here works, you know? Save travels. We're pretty much always overleveled for every zone we do, even if we're not doing this type of challenge. But, yeah, a playthrough that's just more vanilla without, I would probably still... Like, I don't know, I was debating, like, should I have the runes? I don't know. I kind of want to try this on, on a paladin without any additional content. Um, without any of the actual stuff that we've been doing. No professions at all. Uh, no, none of these turn-ins. And just go and see what it looks like, you know? Once on your hammer dwarves might have fast steam, good. but can those airy pink griffins stand the heat of the Great Forge? I think not. But yeah, so that's that. It's uh, thoughts right now, starting week like probably like ten or twelve of this. I don't even know. I'm trying to think like when we would have started this. I'm I, I'm gonna look actually real quick. I don't know when we would have started it, but I definitely uh, it's been a while now. Okay, so the first episode was uploaded. December 7th. Oh, wow. So how many weeks is that now? And that was a Thursday. So presumably I didn't start it in the middle of the week. Or maybe I did. Well, either way, we'll just say I recorded it at the 4th. I don't know if that's true or not, but so Monday to Monday, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's only been eight weeks. Feels like it's been forever. Classic is a is a journey, like they say. <laughs> when you're not just sitting there grinding dungeons and getting mage boosts. It can be a journey.
Uh, we're almost there, halfway probably. Just watching a. Uh, I'm like now that I go do this, I'm doing it all the time. I'm watching a uh, Fire Emblem speed run. I just start. I don't know if we talked. Did I talk about it? I think I did. I can't remember where I talked about these things, but yeah, I'm, I'm like hooked on Fire Emblem now. All of a sudden, it's really weird. I'm like really like I have like a heavily addictive like mentality with games right now. It's really weird. Really, I'd say it started with this with Classic, but uh, recently it's been Roller Coaster Tycoon. I just haven't even thought about that now. And I went, well, it was maybe even maybe like Dark Souls, really. I don't know, man. We've just been chaining things ever since the holidays. Dark Souls, Roller Coaster Tycoon. That was like fucking heavy. Like, I, man, I'm, I'm actually kind of sad that I haven't messed with that at all because I was putting a lot of hours into that. Um, and then I got back into Pokemon pretty heavily. It was really all thanks to AGDQ. Pokemon, uh, that was where it all started there. And then now I'm checking out Fire Emblem again. I hadn't realized that how heavy of a hacking scene there is for that game, too. That is actually wild, dude. Fire Emblem, I don't know if anybody's ever played those games. Uh, there's a lot of games, but um, I guess, like, ROM hacking them is, like, super easy. I don't really get it, but there's, like, hundreds. Like, let me show you this. Like, hold on. This is nuts. Oh, you know what? We should have stopped at. Uh, we should have stopped here because we got to go north first. Fuck. I honestly might just fly back here. But yeah, look at this. These are all ROM hacks. Two hundred and twenty-eight just on this website alone. What is this one? It's got twelve point eight k. What? Reawakening. I don't. I have no. I mean, there's just thousands, uh, or maybe not thousands, but there's a lot. Hundreds, definitely. And, and the weird thing is, they're all, like, custom games. I think we did talk about this. I did talk about this already, right? Because, like, in Pokemon, there's not... It's not like that at all. Pokemon, it's, like... Most... Most ROM hacks are just... Mods of the game itself. I think we did... I, I remember talking about this. It was probably the last episode. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My... Scatter brain mentality. All over the place. Alright, so let's, there should be a lot more quests here, too. What's that? Was there a quest somewhere, I guess? Oh, 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 yes. I forgot what I even did last episode. Now we're gonna go do those quests for the... the woman or whatever. Time is money, friend! Zanzil the Outcast dwells with his followers in the Jubuwai and Abaraz ruins, northeast of Booty Bay. He is exiled from his tribe. Why? Well, Zanzil has methods of bending the minds of others, and his leaders fear him. He uses a mixture of jungle plants on his followers to suppress their will and strengthen their bodies. His mixture would be worth much to those who wish to control others. Bring me samples of his mixture, and I will find a use for them. Hurry back! It's scary, right? Like that guy's so powerful that he had to be exiled. That's crazy. My dagger. What are you, some sort of comedian? What? 
Do you just want me to repeat the story of how I've gone from the best knife fighter in Booty Bay to the laughing stock of pirate dumb? I lost a knife fight to one of the Bloodsail Buccaneers. Bunch of right bastards they are. And he took my blade as spoils. It's not as though I can get by as a knife fighter with insults and a sharp tongue alone. My father sent you? I'd have thought that old codger would have given up on me by now. It wasn't really his fault I ran off. He just shouldn't have expected I'd be willing to live a boring life, reading over musty books and associating with gray-haired, stiff-backed, stuffy mages. If you need my dagger, you'll have to get it back from Pretty Boy Duncan, one of the Bloodsail Buccaneers. Put something between his shoulders and I'm sure he'll give it up. Have a good one. Mm -hmm. Alright, um... There's a lot of quests here, I don't remember what's what though. This is not even in the zone, so we don't need that right now. Should be strangled during fever. That's here. Sick, so very sick. Have contracted Stranglethorn fever, deadly VV virus. Only cure is is to eat the heart of mm, 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 mock the savage, ah, we're not elusive be white beast. I forgot Witch that doctor and Bagua. No chance we're doing that quest. You Ow. sure seem eager to work, matey. Not sure why some land-loving person adventurer is offering help to the Blackwater Raiders, but I'm not going to turn you away. Our ship just docked here in Booty Bay, and word has it that our rivals, those damn dirty bloodsail buccaneers, have been spotted all over Southern Stranglethorn. All the boys are too busy hitting the grog and looking for ladies. What I need is a scout. Check the cove just north of Booty Bay along the Savage Coast and see what you find. Look up Man, the Do you think any other race of Azeroth finds goblins attractive? Can't see how they would. I'm down here. It feels like it's like a missed opportunity. Just like entrances to the houses that are above. I guess there's fishermen stuff here. Where's the shaky Philippe guy? Is in here? Can I help you? If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people who don't pay their gambling debts. And there are a lot of people who owe me. Think you can help me collect? First, there's Shaky Philip down by the docks. He owes me plenty after last week's game, and I want my due. But to get it, we'll have to scare him. Go out of town and hunt Elder Mistvale gorillas. Find a nice selection of giblets, then take them to Shaky. Don't let on that they're from an animal. Let him think the worst. What is a giblet? Edible offal of an fowl. Okay, okay. It's li it's liver organs. See you I see. Okay. Well, what is the other My one? My old buddy Stoli you. owes me a very special bottle of rum. He tends the bar oh. at Steamweedle Port in Tanaris, Kalimdor, and he promised me that the rum there is Be stronger careful. than anything we can find in Booty Bay. You need something. He's so see confident later. that he says if I try that rum and don't agree there. with him, then he'll double the money he owes me. Well, I think he's not as confident as he was when last we spoke, and. Now he's afraid to give me that rum, but I don't back down from wagers. So why don't you talk to him for me? Where's the actual inn? Here it is. Come in, yeah, what do come you in. Want? Just don't sit too close to the stove. It hasn't exploded yet today, but just to be safe, I think you should sit elsewhere. What stove? Oh, over there? What the fuck? I don't think that's going to explode. Why would you have it behind the counter if it's going to explode? Uh, do we have... Acris by the bundle, we'll pick that up. We're running out of slots here, though. We got 17 right now. Are you looking for work, adventurer? I might have some if you're up for a little challenge. I got a friend named Groy who makes a killing selling what the Naga call Akiri's Reed. It's some kind of valuable ocean reed. Not too sure what it's for, but he pays well for bundles of the stuff. You bring me 10 stocks of the stuff, and we'll have business to do. The Naga were last seen along the beach to the north of here. For the Alliance. For the Alliance. Um, and then there's... We have the quest to go kill alligators still, right? What is that called? Yeah, that's it. I think we got them all now. That's it. Okay. Time to move out. I honestly am just going to fly up north. I don't think it's a good idea to ride. I don't know. 
Oh yeah, and we have that to turn into. There's a lot of quests that we need to do up north still. So yeah, let's go ahead and we'll go, uh, we'll fly. I think it's going to be faster. It's going to be close. <laughs> it's probably not faster, but... I don't really feel like riding all the way up there again. This side of Airy Peak. Want to take a ride? Watch. Yeah, I don't know. That's probably not faster. It's stupid. Alright, so we'll fly, or we'll ride out here, and uh, turn all this stuff in. We do have a few quests to turn in, and then we're going to go into the Curzon compound and do that. We'll see how that goes. Surely by now, like 41, I, I shouldn't have issues, but...
to be a river here or something. I never really understood what this is, this ravine. King's honor, friend. Okay, do you, did you make it to Booty Bay? Yes. It's fixed. This is great. Now I can get dinner started. Thanks so much, adventurer. I hope you were okay in Booty Bay. That place can get pretty rough, and I heard rumors that the goblins will sometimes drag drunk sailors to their slave boats and take them to who knows where to what do the who knows what. What? Really? I didn't hear that. Light bless you. This quest I don't know. Colonel Curzon was once a great noble man. I must find what caused I his fall into depravity. He may be under the sway of troll magic. To confirm this, I must study some of their legends. There are four tablets hidden within the troll ruins of Stranglethorn. I must see what is written on these tablets, transcribe their markings, and bring the transcription see back to me. The first tablet is in the Balal ruins, the second is in the Vile Reef, and the third and fourth are in the ruins of Zulkunda. Yeah, we'll take it. Pick it up, whatever. Hey, look who it is. Thorson. Go bad for him. But you're on your own today, my friend. Gotta fight the cat and those two. That's gonna be a mess for him. treasure over there uh, I think we got this one already though All right trying not to get the same ones more than once feels a little cheesy big rage income now it's nice this will be fun Is that every single time at Prox? 20% only if we just got lucky. Let's go and put these on. So these guys right now are 34. I think you'll probably get up to like 37 down here. Oh yeah, see two mobs here. I was right to be worried about this area. What are we even doing right now? I, I really don't even know. I think we have to go down to like the midway point and loot something. Keep getting those uh, stun procs, we like that. There's gold, we'll take that. Three guys right there too. Interesting. No 
are we gonna get 20? No. I think, yeah, the pokey, the key is down, down this way. food here and then yeah I think there's like two paths coming up we got a bit on the right side if I remember correctly then we have to run out all the way out because in live well you can do these are auto complete quests but see yeah it must be this way there's even another path down there too I don't know uh, I don't think we're missing anything other than just get down here but now we're fighting a higher tier of mob so I'm not really sure maybe we should not do this right now I'm gonna, I guess I'll do it, it's fine, but. a good amount of damage. So am I. Okay, what the hell? You know, you can go up here. It's actually funny, we can uh, skip that mob because of that. Yeah, that's it there, Bookie Herod Strong Box.
Uh-oh. Well, we got all kinds of health pots and stuff. We're pretty pretty secure now in this, this character. No, we ding on that too. Holy shit. Interesting. Two more points in enrage. Iron there as well. What did I turn it off? Guess I must have died at some point. Oh, we're right. Fighting Cyclonian. Strongbox is bound in bronze, very sturdy and very heavy. Opening the strongbox, it is clear that this is where Herod keeps his more valuable coins and items. Among the valuables of the strongbox is a muddy scribbled note. Although barely legible, it looks like the itinerary for Private Thorson. It details his patrol routes, who he speaks with, and how he spends his time with the rebels. It is signed only with the letter M. Whoever wrote this must have stayed very close to Thorson. Whoever wrote this note is a traitor within the rebel camp. Alright, so now we need to get out of here. And we need to uh, kill one more guy, too, on the way out. I'm going to go ahead and stealth. See if we can't get to the very edge of the cave before we come out of stealth. Oh shit, this is really bad. Did not think- oh yeah, we're just dead here. Just run. Okay, we're actually dead here. Wow, okay. And that was why I was scared to do that area.
All right. Well, that was the dumb mistake. I ran right into. If you didn't see what happened, I ran right into the stealth mob. I thought we were good there, but I literally just walked right into it. And then once that aggroed, there was three other stealth mobs waiting for me. So we got those two quests to turn in. And then I, I'm pretty sure I have to go back. Definitely have to go back. I just don't know to what extent. What can I do for you? Oh, does the oh, note have anything that we can read? Day one, uh, it's just like a bunch of scheduling. Same schedule with one exception. Just before sunset, Thorson had me cover for him as he crept down the canyon pass. I assume he went to meet with our agents, but he returned an hour later. This surprised me. I had hoped he met with our agents and would rejoin Curzon. Something is wrong. So I don't really care to read this, honestly. Well met. Wrong play Thank too. you, adventurer. This note is the clue we need to root out the traitor. The note you gave me is signed with an M. I don't know what that could mean. But the well, note the also Elias says this person help? shared patrol routes with Thorson last week. So whoever shared patrol with Thorson last week must be the traitor. Go to Corporal Sethman. He handles the patrol schedules and can tell you who was with Thorson. Be careful. Adventure. Greetings. Sergeant Yowa trusted your abilities, and I trust her. The defeat you brought to Curzon's forces is almost too much to hope for. I had feared we rebels were alone, and alone we could never stand up against the Colonel's brilliance. Perhaps hope of our survival yet remains. You have proven yourself time and again, and your resourcefulness seems to rival even that of Curzon himself. You may be the salvation of our band of rebels, if you can pit yourself against Curzon and prevail. He commands his men from deep within the stockpile. You must yeah, enter yeah. that cave, brave through his defenders, and face Curzon and his leaders. Farewell, adventurer. We'll my hope and the fate of my men go with you. Go with honor, friend. I kind of don't want to go in there again, but... All right, what else over here? Greetings. Oh, yes, I can check that for you. Let's see. Last week, it was... Why, it was Private Merle scheduled with Thorson. They had the same patrol times all of last week. Did Lieutenant Doran want you to report back to him with that patrol information? What happened? Report to Doran available. You need what happened? Hey there. Light be with you. Light. Be you have to. Oh, just what the fuck was that about? Did Lieutenant Doran want you to report back to him with that patrol information? Yes, Be he careful. did. Well met. It pains me to find out it was Merle who betrayed us. He has always been a brave soldier, and I had thought his heart was true, but it is a great relief to have found him out. With a spy like him among us, we would not last long against Colonel Curzon. I like the way those look. But... The Alliance. What can I do for you? It pains me to find Be out careful. it was Merle who betrayed us. Is there a vendor here? I supply only the finest goods. They should have made this guy the traitor, because he's also the traitor. Get it? For the alliance. If you need clarification on that, let me know. Was there not more to it? In Livewire, I think that you killed the Merle guy, don't you? Where is Merle? <laughs> not even here. Am I confused on something here? Light be with you. Go with honor, friend. I don't know. All right, yeah, let's go do it. Fuck it.
Alright, we need to be careful and not have that same mistake happen again now. I don't know what's down there then. Looks like it's that watery segment that's in a lot of these caves. We're just gonna go right to the end and see what's going on here because if we have we have to kill the main guy, if it's too hard to kill him, then I'll just die and that'll be it for this. Guys are 38, so that shouldn't be a problem. What the hell? This guys, moving around a ton. Oh, there's a chest there, too. Gotta remember to get that. God, there's a lot of mobs here that we don't actually need to kill. I'm pretty sure this guy's like over 40, though. And then he's got multiple enemies with him. He's four. Oh, and he's elite! Alright, yeah, that ain't happening. Let's get the chest and get out of here. That's interesting. You have to nerf him. for the future. My favorite part. Not being in a stance, so I can't do anything. Gotta make sure that we don't let this guy run. Belt. Be sure we have that on leather working ready. Hmm. That's kind of unfortunate. I definitely wanted to try to do this. Is this a caster? What is this? Let's see. Yeah, it's a range guy, actually. Die. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, there we go, Birch. <laughs> um, okay, well, so that was kind of a waste of time.
Now, what else do we need to do here? I'm trying to figure out where the. Uh, Troll ruin thing gets done. Right, that's how you get a trophy or two over the old heart. Nice killing, adventurer. Let's see how you handle this next challenge. There is a cagey breed of raptor out there. We call them jungle see stalkers. You soon. They are far more difficult to track down and kill than the other breeds you've been trying your luck at. Kill ten jungle stalkers, and I'll tip you off to the best hunting yet. Uh, if I remember correctly. So, what does it say? Where is it? So, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to do that quest. I got. I'm gonna do that right now, though, because obviously I want to nerf that. That's the first time I've ever tried to do that quest on the server. I think we gotta wait for rest sickness anyway. So, um, but so let's see. I'm missing something. Oh, we don't need this anymore. Drop that. What's going on here? Did I not pick it up, I guess? I guess not. Okay, well, I guess. Oh, there it is. Curzon's Mystery. So it says Balal Ruins, Vile Reef, that's the annoying one, and then the Ruins of Zulkunda. I don't, yeah, that's not on the map. So let me go look this up while we're waiting here. Okay, so there's the Bilal Ruins. Vile Reefs down here. I remember this one being a pain in the ass. Ruins of Zulkunda. Okay, so those are the, the ones above. All right, cool. So we can go do, uh, we'll head to the Vile Reef now, hopefully by the time. Well, we got seven minutes, so there's not really much I can do. Press sickness, another one of those things. I think I might change its uh, duration. I don't know though, because I added an item that gives rest sickness. I always wanted to just try like permanent rest sickness and see what the challenge is like there, but I, I just think it'd be really fucking boring. I don't like the idea of doing less damage. I just like the idea of taking more damage. That's why I, I don't dislike the naked leveling challenge, because I feel like in live WoW, naked leveling it's like actually makes it a little bit more balanced. But like in this version of the game, it's just not needed. You know what I mean? Like it's a, you already don't do a ton of damage as it is. So that's where we have to go for that one. And then the vile reef is just, I'm pretty sure it's like right here somewhere. This is a huge pain in the ass because of how far underwater it is. And also, uh, There's elite murlocs down here, but I did already nerf these a long time ago, so they shouldn't be hard to kill. It's just hard to get to where you're trying to go without drowning. I can never remember where we need to go either. Looks like I might be over there. This is actually a really cool quest, though. This guy said this was so hard that even a level 60 paladin who helped me drowned on the way back. Not what you want to hear. Uh, 2423. Close. This way.
Just right here. See how, like, we have very, we have very little time here. Okay, so that, those are definitely aggroing, right? Maybe not. Close enough. All right. They did aggro. So we're probably going to die again, but... We got it, right? See, there's like a bunch of lore here. It's really cool. I want to do a story, uh, a quest, like a, a lore thing on this at some point. All right, so now we gotta wait four minutes. Anything else we can do while we're here? Guess we can go to the one in Zolkunda and just scout that out in stealth or something like that and then wait. Doesn't seem like a great idea though. If we aggro anything, we're dead instantly, so hopefully that's not going to happen. I'm pretty sure one of them's in a really easy spot and one of them's in a really pain in the ass spot. One's up here, I think. We're too slow. Oh, I was going to say, we're probably too slow to make that jump. Yeah, there's that one. We might actually be able to get that one without combat. These mobs are only level you know, 37. Where is the other one is the question. Is it down there? This one I think we can definitely get without combat. Now what? I guess we should just look it up instead of guessing. Fourth troll legend. That's the one we just got. Third troll legend. Don't have any idea where that is to be honest. Wow, hey comments. I found the entrance to Zolkonda Ruin in the northeast of the Hunter Expedition site. I followed the hills on the left side of the ruins. You go past raptors on some side. Once past the raptors, find the highest point to climb. Once I was on top of the ridge, I could see a small ruin to the right of the mountains. I climbed toward... This is terrible directions. I have no idea where this is. Highest elevated area of the whole ruin. 
There's a uh, Ganzula. Surely that's is that, is that not what we just did? Yeah, no, wait, we're looking for the third one right now. Fight your way through, and sooner or later you'll see the path that leads to the main road. Uh, when you see the main road, you'll see the ramp. To get the fourth legend. No, we're not looking for the fourth one. What the fuck? What is going on here, dude? Coordinates 30-23-12. Southwest corner of the ruins. Down there. 23-12. Which is across from us, I guess. Yeah, it's in that camp over there, annoying camp. I'm just gonna play it safe here. I don't wanna get. Oh, well, we already have red sickness off. It's over there, I think. Or is it over there? It's in one of these areas, I think. Maybe there. I think it's there. Impatiently waiting for stealth to come back, so we figured fuck it, we'll just kill some stuff. Fairly confident it's over here now that I remember, because I'm pretty sure I do this. Like, this is part of the, uh, yeah, there it is. This is part of the, uh, Arts Experience Guide to do this. Lots of enemies over here. What is the easiest way to approach it? No such thing. Probably go out this way and work our way up here. Didn't even realize there was a path over here. Sort of is. Ah, uh, no, that is not the easiest way to approach this. There's a lot of fucking mobs here, wow. Hmm, this is gonna be very tough. All right, well, we'll start by back clearing this. Trying to eat some food. Just kidding. Fuck. Have to get broken up. Okay. Now I'll eat it. This is going to be a huge pain in the ass. Oh, 
Luckily, we're so high level that most of these mobs are easy to not aggro. But those four right there, I don't know how we're going to fight those without aggroing all of them. Maybe this one can come solo, but it's a scout. I assume that's a ranged mob, but maybe it's not. So we'll find out. No, it looks like it's not a ranged mob, so that's good. We're in quarter stars here with the trees, annoying. Let's eat up and hopefully pull this one alone, and then we'll get, I guess, CC on one of them and try to kill the other two. Or we can just pop everything. Uh, or that could happen. That's <laughs> that seems like a bug. What the fuck? Okay, well that makes it easy, obviously. Two and two is easier than one and three, that's for sure. At least in WoW. In fact, it's not even going to aggro. Wow, Jesus. Well, that was strange. Definitely didn't see that coming. I guess that spell's not interruptible. That quick flame ward, because I've tried to interrupt that multiple times across different mob types now, and it never seems to stop them from putting it on. Alright, well that's it for that. Let's ride out of here then. I guess just run. We could stealth out, but these mobs are pretty low level. I don't think it's too dangerous to just ride. Of course, there is the problem down here with the big... I think there's lots of enemies down here, but yeah, I think we're alright. Yeah, I just heard about this today as well. I did not realize that somebody was trying to make a total conversion mod for Dark Souls 3. It's actually really, like, holy fuck, I cannot believe what I saw when I saw it. This is, this is footage of it, I guess. I don't know why it's so short, but... Just some area that they're making, I guess. There's like a whole channel, 38k subs. Like, just gameplay. It actually looks fucking good. Somebody said uh, something in the comments of this video, I believe it was, that uh, really resonated with me. It's like, finally Dark Souls 3, but with some color. And I actually totally agree. I've forgotten how bad Dark Souls 3 looks visually. It's good graphically, but it's just like, man, is it bad? Let me show you the best looking area here. Here it is. Look at this. Gorgeous. I guess this is what Elden Ring looks like. I never played Elden Ring, but I, I did see pictures of it, and it looks like really colorful and bright. I like that a lot better. I don't know how you even do this. Pretty nuts. I tried to make a mod, and it was like, yeah. I talk about Classic WoW being a janky thing, but man, Dark Souls is like... Not meant to be moddable, like it's actually straight up not a moddable game. You have to basically like hack the game to mod it. Just like a lot of ROM hacks and stuff. Okay, so now we're gonna go over here. 
Um, are we not done with this? Oh, I forgot about that one. Let's go get that quick then. It's down here. That Murloc rare is probably up again. Level 37. Luckily that mobs don't have like, they have like less health than regular mobs it seems. Never squander an opportunity to kill a rare. There's a treasure over there, too. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and use one of these. I think these guys aren't actual casters. We'll pick up all the potions we can get our hands on. Uh, these are definitely not going to fit. All the stuff that's in here. Well, let's open this first. I, that's a treasure that I put there, pretty seemingly. I don't know how we meant to get to it. There you go. Everything fits other than Mulgore spiced bread. Okay, cool. Let's go turn this quest in. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to, though, because my inventory is filled. I'll have to go turn this in and then empty our inventory. So we're already doing 42 in this episode. How long are we, are we at right now? Oh, already an hour and 15 minutes. All right, I think we will... I don't know. I can't decide, man. can't decide if I want to try to, I, I try to keep the episode shorter, but I just don't like, I just don't know if anybody cares. Like, I don't know. I want to make sure that they're watchable, but like the difference between an hour and 30 minutes and two hours, it doesn't really seem like it would that be that big of a difference. If you're already watching an hour video, you're probably good on the other part. Can we even get up this way? I'm not even sure. Yeah, 
I think we can ride up here. As the vendor first. Need help. Fade leaf, we don't need that. Hey, that's it. Be careful. Hey there. Thank you, adventurer. I will study these legends to see if there is some link between the trolls and the evil that has possessed Colonel Curzon. While I study those legends you acquired, gather for me implements of evil troll magic. Enter the territory of the Skull Splitter Trolls, a second tribe to the distant south, and acquire Skull Splitter fetishes from their witch doctors and mystics. Okay. Safe travels. That's good. I'm glad I did that then. Seems like it's similar to the Horde one, where there's like a relatively protracted quest chain for that. Well, yeah. All right. I'm going to end it here. So thank you guys for watching. In the next episode, we will be continuing to plow through these these quests in the stone. There's a lot. So there's probably going to be like at least two more episodes. But yeah, thank you for watching. We will see you guys in the next one.